Welcome to the Mile High City. We're in Denver, Colorado here tonight for EA Sports and the Avalanche are ready to pile the opposition. The Bruins will look to go on the offensive as they win the opening draw. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. Russell Bloom stopping the play. We always want to dictate pace when you start a game and now they're back on their heels taking the minor penalty. Looks like they weren't ready to go. The Bruins win the draw on their own end. Dishes it to Kiki. He carries the puck up along the wing. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. And a stick break set up. That opportunity is rejected. Down the right side and into the zone. Close save. Takes the feed from his netminder. Allmark's been a reason why his team's in the win column. I mean, he's done everything he could between the pipes, as indicated by that save right there. Every time he's between the pipes, he gives his team an opportunity. The Bruins gain possession of the defensive zone. Marchand's got it along the wing. And that pass goes off a stick. Moves it over to Lekkonen. Into the attacking end. Great poke check on the reach. And he makes a save there. The Avs have it now. Boston's got a hold of the puck. Puts it in deep. Take it along the wall by Fogler. Got to figure he knows about this next milestone. He's only one goal away. Landis Dubs taking it from his own end. Colorado's got the puck against the half wall. And he comes up with it. And he slides it quickly to DeBrusque. Takes a shot. Oh, what a stop on the play. And there's another great save. Man, is he ever quick on his feet, anticipating the play. Excellent reflexes. He's saving his team right now. Boston's got it in their own zone. Shot. And there's the save. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We're still scoreless. Frederick's got the puck and they'll go on the attack. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Slides the puck ahead to Krizlik. Quick pass to Tube. The Avalanche have possession along the boards. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Now he slides it up to Lindholm. The Bruins played along the boards. Pad save, and he made it look easy. Great job there. Here he is in the open ice on the breakaway. Answered the call there. Slides it across to Bocquist. Now a quick pass to Olivier. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Centering pass, and that goes off a stick and off target. Steps across the blue line. That's blocked by Ola. Carlos got the puck in his own zone. Now he takes it over the line. Centering pass. What a chance, but that goes off target off a body in front. Sends it quickly to Drouin. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. And now it's grabbed by Zaboro. And some nice footwork to free the puck up to his teammate. That's broken up in the neutral zone. Looking to set up offensively. Handles it along the blue line. Turned aside with the glove by Omar. Well, this save looks easier than it actually is. I mean, when you have a shooter right in the slot, and you actually score. He's in tight to the net, James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. Boston's finally opened the scoring here in the first. Now let's see how both teams respond, right, Cheryl? Yeah, and I think this is a product of just playing the game differently and having a different mindset. They started the game, they were hesitant, almost as if they're playing just to keep it close and not to lose. you got to play to win the game, and they've really opened it up in the latter half of this period. Keeps a hold of the puck after that knock. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. 
down. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. The Avs have it behind the net. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Olmark. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. Here in the back half of this period, 1-0 is where we sit at this point. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. Moves it to Parisi. Moves it to the middle. Great defensive heads-up play to pick it off. Moves inside. way more difficult than it looked, James. I mean, there's so much traffic in front that he's fighting through to see, and he finds the puck to make the save. And some textbook body contact there. Oh, that's a smart heads-up play as he breaks it up with the poke. Scooped up along the wall by Prislik. He got all of that one. Loses his balance on the play. The Avs have it behind the cage. And he takes the feed. Here's a short pass to Lycanen. Grabbed along the board by Taves. Penalty coming up here. The Bruins are getting penalized for slashing. The Avs send their man advantage unit at what's more. Well, they create a power play opportunity with hard work. And wait a second, James. I believe there's going to be a call right there. An infraction happens. Drills him. Here's a chance. Gets a piece of it to make the save. You name it. Smartphone cases. They got you covered at the team store. Check them out online or you can visit it just outside the arena. Open seven days a week. Kiki's won a big draw on their own end. Quick feed to Johansson. Oh, smart heads up. And he rips the post. Colorado's been getting closer to the net and getting better looks. That one goes off the pipe. If this game is close, they can get another one. They can get right back in. And look at this. Here, building. Oh, consecutive stops. Wow. Now it's picked up by the defense. And a successful clearing attempt. Moves it quickly over to Lycanen. Keeps possession. Shot. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. Sporrell's got it in the defensive end. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Drives to the page. How did he stop that one? My word, they really got them hit. Did it? So we are coming after the power play mark. Well, it's perfectly executed, and the coach has the most skilled offensive players out there for that very reason. They tied the game. Now, this power play will show up in the video room tomorrow. There's no question about that because it had it all. Puck movement, motion, and urgency on the retrieval, which I think is absolutely critical yes gotta start with the puck you want to find a way to get the shot to the net and it winds up in the back of it here are the later stages of this period and it's all tied up and they win that neutral zone draw dropped him in the open ice and he takes the dish the Bruins play the long win blocker saved by Georgiev he does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner spot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes the save. The setters will glide into the dot. Coils won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. And with that, the first period comes to an end. Both teams will have a chance to get a breather. And they'll be back on the ice with period number two in not too long. Both teams are back at center ice, and we are ready to get period number two underway. 
You can tell we're in for a good one because almost every fan is in their seats here as we are still tied with the second getting underway. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Allmark's the reason this game is still tied, Jane. He's been outstanding in making all the saves required to keep this game even. Lots of time left in this period. We got a tie game. They win the faceoff here in their own end and take possession. The Avs have it now. And he loses control of the puck. Too much congestion in front. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Quick pass to McCarr. Puts it on net. There it is, the go-ahead goal. And how good does that feel? You can see the selling. The energy is certainly there. And now it's about to dictating the pace going forward. The next shift is critically important. That's what you call taking advantage of a fortuitous rebound. And you have to be able to smell it and sniff it out because he has great hand-eye coordination. Be able to put that one up and put it in the back of the net. The Avs take control of the faceoff. Heavy hit into the wall. And look at this. We're going to get a stoppage here as the whistle's blown. A pane of glass is broken. Well, safety is the first priority, and it was a thunderous hit. And as a result, there's a crack in the pane. And they'll have to replace that, James. The maintenance crew will come out here and make sure that it's taken care of. Johansson's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. And that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. Angles it over to Marchand. And that's intercepted. Colorado has been disrupting play all night long, and this is because of their stick position. You have to find ways to be aware and anticipate where that puck is going to be going. Doing a great job, but this is still a close one. They've got to find a way to generate some offense. The Avs take it along the wall. Quick shot! Just gets enough to keep it out. Thought we were going to get a whistle, but the puck clears out. He got all of that hit. Pushes it across to Pasternak. The Bruins will play it against the boards. Stop that one. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. And he shuts the door again. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. Colorado's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And a solid save there as we play on. Cuts to the front. Shot comes up with a stop. The Avs will play it in their own end. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Moves it to White. And a strong defensive effort to get in front of that. Takes the pass. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Moves it on over to White. Some good stick work to force that turnover. Tatar's got it in the offensive zone. Made the save on the play. And it's a quick pass to Parisi. The Bruins in transition at center. White's got it on the offensive end. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Scores! They strike again, and that's three unanswered goals. Over and over and over again, James, and you can see the excitement on the bench. They know that they've deflated and pushed their opponent back on their heels. They need to keep plugging away here and not get complacent. This is exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Colorado's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Great use of the stick at center by Rantanen. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Sporles lugging the puck. Forward's got it against the boards. Oh, how did he get a piece of that to make the save? Georgiev's all alone. Stopped on a breakaway. What a save he made there. Well, I loved how he 
challenge the shooter on this, James. He didn't sit back in his net. He came right out to the top of the paint. He said, if you're going to beat me, you got to find room. Passes out front. Picked off in front. Through center along the wing. Centering feed. And that goes off someone in front. Stops that one. Quick pass over to Zaboro. Boston's got the puck in the defensive end. Taken by Saboral. Sends it over to Bokvis. The Bruins carry it along the wall. Denies him in front. Tosses it on to Taves. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Nice poke check. The Bruins will play it from the defensive zone. And now he moves it quickly to Van Riemsdyk. The Bruins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Lindholm stick handling in his own zone. Takes it across the blue line. Can't keep a hold of it. Slides the pass over to Lekanen. Shot right around in front. Denies that opportunity. I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns. He scores! Big goal! I would love to know how fast that one was going, James, because he absolutely tagged it. He had all the time in the world and the space, I might add, to walk into it. He put the spicy sauce and the mustard on that one as it beats the goaltender clean. The Bruins have new life here late in the second period after that goal. They've been consistent, James, throughout the two periods, and they're nearing the end of the second. They get rewarded for buying into the game plan. They'll need to take the rest between the second and third and find a way to recalculate and drive an attack. Set the tempo in the third. Here's a short pass to Stahl. And just got a piece of it to keep it out. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. And a quick save on that one. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Passes over to Shattenkirk. And that pass is redirected. Look at the Savardian spinorama. And there's the horn bringing an end to period number two. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. They have dropped the puck here in the third. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. The Bruins need to find the gas in the tank for this final 20 minutes of play, James. I mean, they're only trailing by one, so there's 20 minutes of runway left here. I feel like they've played aggressive. They've held the puck. They've owned the possession time. It's just a matter of converting it to get it to time. Puck said down the ice, we'll get an icing. Marshawn's out there on this shift, guys, and he's looking to spark this team. If he can use his own ability to generate scoring chances, he could really influence this game. Boston's taking possession in their own end. Huge win by the center to give his team an opportunity to get out of the zone after a critical icing. Great heads up play in the defensive zone. The Avs have been picking off passes left, right, and center. You know the coach is going to like this, but it has to transition to offense because this game's awfully close. Sends the feed in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. McKinnon so difficult to stop in tight, and he's got magic hands, but unfortunately this time it doesn't go his way as he tries to get a little nifty. Sometimes simple is the best way to go. Lindholm's moving the puck through his own zone. On the attack along the boards. Stops him cold. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Pasternak's been lighting the lamp with this point streak. Playing so confident he knows where he is on the ice. And it just seems that every time it makes its way towards the net, the puck's going in. And they'll start with possession. Here's a shot. Denies him on the slapper. Takes the feed. Colorado's got it in their own zone. 
Dishes it to Lekanen. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. And now it's grabbed by DeBrusque. Quick feed to Shattenkirk. Slides the puck over. With possession along the wall. And he totally whiffs on that one. Picked up along the wall by Manson. Moves it quickly over to Nichuskin. Break away! Stopped by the goaltender. Quick pass across to Gerard. Here's a shot! Oh, and he reaches out with a glove save! Wow! Poked away at center by Manson. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Quick pass to Nichuskin. The Avs have it in the offensive zone. Oh, what a save on the play! Wow! Oh, that's Grand Larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. The Avs have looked good tonight, especially offensively here in this third period. Off the face, off, they take the puck. Olark's last save is one that's going to be remembered for a while, James. It's going to be on the highlight reel. It's on one of mine now. I mean, he stole one there. It was all but in, and that desperation and compete level, it makes the save. And can't redirect it into the net. Oh, to Madison with the paddle save. Georgiev's going to hang on for a whistle. Vegas is on the schedule next, and they will provide a stiff competition here as these two teams get set to collide. Off the draw, they take possession. Slick feed. Boston's got the puck along the boards. Moves it to Parisi. The Bruins looking against the half wall. All of the heads up play to poke it away. That knocks him off the puck. Colorado's got it behind the net. Works it across to Tatar. Well, this game looks like it's going right down to the wire, James. And one of the most important things to do now is make sure you make good blue line decisions. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Here's a short pass to O'Connor. Makes a save on the ball. They're like a swarm of bees out here with this pressure. And they skate it out of the danger zone. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. Who had the better night? Carlin, stand by. McKinnon's had the upper hand in this battle, guys. His scoring prowess was on display, and it's a big reason why I'm giving him the edge here. Gains the zone from the right side. The Bruins gain possession. Quick feed to Marchand. Great on-ice awareness to bat it down. Slides it quickly to Lindholm. Boston's looking to break out. Sends a pass over. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Makes a save. Branton and gaining momentum. Here's a chance. Oh, what a save of the play. Whoa. He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. Boston's got a hold of the puck. Moves it around along the half wall. Moves it quickly over to Coyle. And that somehow stayed out of the net. Well, the shooter's going to run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. And reads the play perfectly and picks off the pass. Boston's got the puck against the wall. Great reach with the poke check. Colorado's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Quick pass to Johansson. Oh, what a stick save. Omar's got it and will hang on for the whistle. He's been so dialed in all game, playing confidence controlled in the crease. A big face off here inside the offensive end. The Avs take possession off the face off. They get it out of the defensive end. Gerard's taking it from his own end. Colorado's got the puck against the boards. Comes up with a big stop. Oh, he, he scores. He thought he had it, but it must have gone off him. It's in the net, and that's a goal. Well, that's a really 
such a break for the tender, James. I mean, listen, when structure breaks down and there's all kinds of stuff going on in front of you, you can't track, you can't get your eyes on the puck and it winds up in the back of your net. The Avs have been the busier team in the shot department and they lead it late in this third period. Yeah.